Hi, my name is Charles K. Carter. I'm a queer poet from Iowa who has recently relocated to the Pacific Northwest. I have spent most of my adult career as an educator in some form or fashion. I have had dozens of poems published in various print and digital literary magazines, journals, and anthologies. I've had several chapbook publications and my first full-length collection, Read My Lips, came out from David Robert Books last fall. And I'm preparing to release my next chapbook called Artificial Sweetness from Finishing Line Press. To correspond with the marketing of this chapbook, I would love to connect with other poets. Um, I think it's because I'm a little lonely here in the Pacific Northwest. I've just moved here. I haven't made a lot of connections. So I'm hoping to connect with poets, no matter where they're at, and video chat with them, have them read a poem, talk about what they're excited about a project they're working on. And um, since it's artificial sweetness, I want to talk about the sweet things in life, too. Many of us have sweet teeth. So a question I want to ask anybody who would feature is, what's your favorite candy? So if you're a poet and you are interested in joining me, please reach out to me and we can set up a time to video chat. Hopefully it's just a five, 10 minute thing. Um, just a quick share shout out and we'll post them to our socials so that everybody can see and get to know what we are all doing. Um, I know I've kind of been a little more private and subdued as a poet, um, kind of doing my own thing, but I really want to start getting more vibes out there to help um, other people's work get seen because there's so many brilliant people, so many brilliant poets, and most of them aren't getting the attention they deserve. So anyway, this episode will all be me. Hopefully I'll have a next, an episode by next Sunday involving another poet where I will chat with them. So what is my favorite candy? That's a question I'm going to ask anybody who comes on since the book is Artificial Sweetness. I definitely have a sweet tooth. I am vegan though, and I've been a vegetarian my whole life, but went vegan a few years ago, and Candy options are limited for vegans, especially like when I was living in small town Midwest, um, especially chocolate. I love chocolate and there are some great vegan dark chocolates and dark chocolate's great, um, but I really missed milk chocolate. And since I moved out here, um, I live in Salem, Oregon. There's this chocolate factory called Chomp and they make milk chocolate made with oat milk and it is freaking delicious. And my favorite right now are their nut pucks, which are like peanut butter cups. So that's my sweetness. If you are somewhat local and can get one, or if you want to check out Chomp Chocolate's website, I believe you can actually order order and have them shipped anywhere in the US. So check them out. All right. So I'm going to read a poem. This poem is one of the poems in my forthcoming chat book, Artificial Sweetness. It was originally published last summer and Door is a Jar magazine. This poem is called Crushed. You plucked a cigarette from my pack and placed it between your plump lips, using your own lighter to ignite. We were standing on your balcony without pants, mid-coitus. We needed a break from the heat. The chill and the fall air raised the hairs on my thighs. You leaned on the rail, looking out into the sky like you had found the answer to one of life's many mysteries. I looked across the street at the vacant playground equipment of a vacant preschool, empty swings, forgotten joy. For a moment, our conversation was as raw and as naked as we were. We talked about trauma and about anxiety medications, but then you rattled on about video games before crushing your cigarette butt in the vintage orange glass ashtray before taking me by the hand, leading me back inside to finish what we had started. So again, that poem is called Crushed, and that's from my forthcoming chapbook called Artificial Sweetness. That's coming out with coming out from um, Finishing Line Press, and it's available to pre-order at finishinglinepress.com. Um, Pre-orders actually determine some royalties and other things, so please, if you are at all interested and able, please pre-order my book. It is a short collection of queer love and heartbreak poems. If you read my full length, read my lips. You are going to love this. It's kind of just a continuation of that work. Um, yeah, it's available to pre-order now on finishinglinepress.com. And as a special little treat, if you order, pre-order, you can also find a link on my social media, particularly like my link in bio, to a Google form that you can fill out, and I will send you a free signed 
um, book plate sticker so that you can put inside the book and have a, a signed book. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to my poem and talk about this um, artificial sweetness chat book as well as this artificial sweetness Sunday sweet chats that I want to have. So if you're a poet interested, please reach out. I would love to do a little video chat with you where you have the opportunity to read a poem, talk about a project that excites you, and talk about the sweet things in the world. Much love and peace, everyone. Have a great day.